Hello everybody, John Abella from HikeLighter.com. Wanted to show you one of the no-cook meals that I do. I try to do a number of no-cook meals throughout the year, and by a number I mean a great deal. Probably 60-70% of the meals that I consume while out on the trail are no-cook meals. And this is a meal that is mostly oat-based, and it is something that I make at night and then let it sit overnight and then eat for breakfast. And then usually after lunch, you know, like a, a break that's after lunch but before you set up camp, I will make it again, and then it can be my dinner. And it's really good to let it soak for, you know, a couple of hours. And really good when you let it soak overnight, you know, for six, eight hours. Uh, it kind of turns it into a nice pudding. And, um, you know, this is something that can be done cooked style. And, you know, it's that that's really nice. You know, if it's a cold morning, you know, you can just take the paste and then put it into a pan uh, and heat it up a little bit, and then have yourself a nice warm breakfast. So, I'm going to mix it up here, and the ingredients that we have are all in individual bags, except for some powder, and I will just quickly go through these. This is, uh, start with this, that is this, and let me make sure that that's getting focused. This is really good, a lot, uh, very little goes a long way. The second ingredient is quick cooking oats. And uh, this is something that you can use a lot of. It's, it's fairly inexpensive, it's a good base. It's, you know, price-wise compared to everything else, it's the biggest bang for the least amount of money. I also have the classic. There are many, many, many varieties of this stuff out on the market. This just happens to be the one that I end up typically buying the most. We also have some chia seeds, and this bag here, I end up using about not that much per meal. You know, so a, a, a Ziploc baggie about like this will last me usually about, oh, I don't know, about a week on trail. I also have some homemade banana powder, and this is simply made by taking green bananas, uh, mushing them up and then putting them into a dehydrator and then taking them out of the dehydrator and putting them through a burr grinder. We also have whole milk, powdered whole milk. And I usually buy Nido, Nido, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, but this particular time I happen to just pick up a different brand to try it. I would stick with the Nido. Uh, it it doesn't clump up as bad. And of course, some powdered butter. Because butter always makes oats and brands better. And lastly, I will use half a bag of this. Ambronite. And it's designed to be used as a one pack equals one meal. However, I like to break it up into a half pack per meal. And the other thing I add is usually some variety of oolong tea. Uh, in this case, this is from Seven Cups and uh, just some, some black oolong tea. Uh, 
Oolong tea is one of those things, the leaves themselves, you can take one or two leaves, you know, three or four, whatever, and actually put them in a, uh, a meal like this and, you know, consuming the leaves themselves, that few leaves isn't harmful for you at all and gives you some nice, you know, the, that healthy aspects of what oolong tea does for you. And on some occasions, uh, I will put in ground cinnamon. I'm not a cinnamon fan. However, you know, it's one of those things that sometimes I put it in, sometimes I don't. And lastly, I will put in some type of sweetener. Uh, you know, whether it's green packs, pink packs, purple packs, blue packs, pick your packs. Whatever I happen to have ends up going into it. So... I usually don't have any science or, you know, exactisms when it comes to making this. You know, I'm not one of those people who goes out and, and you know, divides it up, you know, quarter cup at a time. Uh, it, it's just not me. Um, and again, you got to remember that this 10 grain goes a long way. So even that little bit right there will be uh, pretty substantial. You know, this is just a real simple, healthy meal that is super easy to make, very economical. However, you have to be somebody that's willing to and capable of living off of uh, mush style meals. And, you know, most folks can't take consuming mush day after day after day. It is something that you definitely do have to build up to. Uh, I don't use a lot of this banana powder because it is pretty strong. Ideally, when it comes to chia seeds, ideally you want to try to pre-soak them. Uh, you know, chia seeds have a very, very long, healthy history. And... You know, if you can get them pre-soaked, it just ends up helping them a little bit better. And obviously, I don't take these containers with me out onto the trail. They're all packaged up in, in Ziploc baggies. And it doesn't take a whole lot of this stuff to, um, to have, you know, the benefit from it. And lastly, our Ambronite. And I have an article that will be published. This meal preparation here will be included in the article that I will be writing. Uh, Ambronite is a pretty amazing um, liquid meal. And again, as I said, I put in about half of a bag. And then use the other half for uh, dinner or breakfast however the, the cycle happens to go all right and lastly we just need some water I realize I'm on the wrong side of the camera here. I'm blocking the I'm blocking the light. I apologize. And there you have it. You breakfast is ready. All right, need to stir it a little bit more. Still got some butter or 
something. Anyway, folks, it's that it really is that simple. This here is, you know, about a breakfast worth, and then you end up getting, you know, a, 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 you know, it's something that you carry with you in the in the morning. You know, you just end up hike, eating, eating it while you're hiking. And uh, it's just a, a great power-packed oat bran, uh, nuts, seeds type of meal. And this is just one of thousands and thousands of variations that you can do for no-cook meals out on the trail. Thanks for watching.